I know recently I was supposed to be downsizing my jersey collection, but I couldn't pass this one up. What's going on guys, it's Mike. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the Composo City Edition jersey that I picked up. So I picked up the authentic version. I had the swingman of Jokic. As much as I love watching Nikola Jokic play, whenever I watch a Denver Nuggets game, I kinda just waited to see if Composo gets in the game. When everyone was kinda hurt and their backcourt was kinda thin, he would play a lot more minutes, but now that everyone's kinda just getting back to health, He's sitting that bench. I'm not even gonna try to say his first name just because I don't know how to pronounce it. Every time I watch a Denver Nuggets telecast, they always call him Faku for short. So we're just gonna go call him Composo. But he's just one of these players that I love to watch. Like, man, first off, he's gritty, all right? Hustles, and he's a pesky defender, which I always like. But man, when you see him in transition or just handling the ball, Man, that vision and passing skill and just highlight passes, they get me, I'm a sucker for those. And plus this Denver Nuggets City Edition jersey has to be in my top five for favorite City Edition jerseys this year that released. And on top of that, he wears number seven. Well, that's my favorite number. How could I pass this up? I already love the jersey. I love the player, like love watching that guy play. Got my favorite number. I mean, all the odds were stacked against me. I had to go get it. I bought this at Altitude Authentics, which is basically the Denver Nuggets team store for 250 bucks. So the regular retail for the authentic versions, the retail ones, 225. But if you get it at the team store, it comes with the sponsor patch. And basically you're paying 25 bucks to get the sponsor patch. There's essentially no difference, but the sponsor patch. So if you don't like the sponsor patch, stay away from the team stores. But in today's video, we're just gonna go ahead and unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details and see if this is something you wanna purchase yourself. Because at the time of this recording, I, when I was doing these random checks on team stores, I will just kind of randomly look around. Um, I know they didn't have Jokic, that usually sells out, but I know they had Jamal Murray, they had Composo, and a couple of different players on that team. But, you know, I had to go pick up my guy. So, if you guys find this video helpful, entertaining, easy way to support the channel, just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when I drop new videos, or sales, or new releases, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into this. Right here, we got the first look. Boom. Man, beautiful Nike swoosh for the 75th anniversary. Western Union patch. Denver. Then, you got Composo on the back. And that beautiful seven. Man, let's take a closer look at it. First, we're going to take a look at the 75th anniversary Jerry West logo. You can see how reflective it looks in the light. It's just beautiful overall. Man, the diamond embellishment on these patches are sick. It's a plastic material and it's actually stitched down and it has a 75 to commemorate the anniversary. Then we go to the collar. So you can see it's a three-tone colorway. You got the base layer, which is yellow. Then you got this second polyester piece that runs through with the baby blue and dark navy blue. On the arm openings, it's the same style. And actually, that baby blue is a throwback to the baby blue era, so it just reminds me of the Carmelo days, which is a dope little feature on this jersey. Let's go to the lettering and numbering. So you got Composo, single stitched, white lettering, just beautiful. Look at that. Sick. But we go to the numbering. Man. So this is actually triple stitched. You got that outside layer here one layer on top and then one layer in that middle kind of well triple stitch which is sick so it's yellow navy blue and then you see that white sick and then you can see the ventilated mesh well ventilated twill to get more airflow looks like polka dots on it but it's actually holes in there just beautiful go to the bottom right you got dry fin advanced then we go look at the side panel. You can see this is a throwback to the old like rainbow skyline era. Sick, it's a separate polyester piece. So it's in a form of a diamond, which is freaking a smart idea for the 75th anniversary, like diamond embellishment. You got a diamond side panel. So this is all sublimated colorways. So this is a like separate polyester piece and these are like dyed onto the fabric. Then you got that 
baby blue kind of trim on the outside, which is sick. I like these little features on this. And that is the back of the jersey. On the front side, you got the same thing on the collar. Three-tone colorway, kind of ends in a V right down here. And right in the middle, you got Denver Nuggets with the skyline and the rainbow colorway. That's actually heat pressed on here. There's a heat press piece. On the Swingman, it's screen printed, but here, heat pressed. Just beautiful. Look at this that baby blue then we go to the neck label area pretty standard stuff you see the stitching for the NBA logo so this is off center made in Thailand size large let's knock out the retail tags Ugh, 250 bucks I know too expensive I get it but pretty standard stuff um, then we go to the Nike swoosh my favorite part this year the city edition jerseys is that 75th anniversary patch it just looks more beautiful. It's a plastic material, single stitched. You see it's like navy blue stitching that goes around just, man. And I almost forgot this Western Union patch. This has to be the biggest sponsor patch for any of the City Edition jerseys this year, but it just doesn't feel like it. You can see single stitched all the way around, WU, Western Union. I think it's because they blend it in so well. Like, I almost forgot. Like, I keep going back to the Dallas Mavericks one, but like they got this Chime sponsor patch and it just sticks out like a sore thumb on the jersey. You can see here, they do a better job of camouflaging it. Has the right colorways that just goes with the jersey. I think they do a good job with that, which I do appreciate. Then we go to Denver Nuggets. So the lettering and numbering. So they update the font on the lettering. It's a new style of font. Let's see how much stitching layers we got. We got that yellow layer and that navy blue. So it looks like it's double stitched. Just look at that. That is sick. Numbering, you got seven. Got three different layers, I think. Wait, yeah, it's just really tiny on the front. So it's one, two, and then three. There's like, that is dope. Same style as the back, just a smaller version, seven. And then right down here, we go to the jock tag. Pretty standard stuff. You got authentic, 48, which is a large city edition tab, plus two length. And then right here, you got mile high basketball. So on this, on the Swingman version, it's actually screen printed. This, you can see like the layering. It's a heat press piece, but you can see like, how it comes off the jersey, it is. Man, it is way more beautiful than the swing man. Whew, I am so juiced for this. Let's go ahead and try this on. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. You can see, I'm already excited to put this on. I am so juiced to have this in hand. Like, man, this is the player I've wanted. But you got the beautiful Nike swoosh, you got the sponsor patch, the updated Denver script, got number seven. Favorite number? And then on the side panel, what's, man, it's gotta be my favorite feature this year. It's like, first off, it's Diamond Edition. It's like, this year's 75th anniversary. So that's the theme this year for all the City Edition. They put a diamond side panel with a throwback rainbow colorway. Like, that's sick, in my opinion. But right here, you got Composo, number seven. Whew. And that's pretty much the jersey. Honestly, this authentic version blew the Swingman version out the water. And I really did like the Swingman version, but man, the details are much more crisp and just, man, it, it's a dope jersey overall. Uh, I'm like in love with the jersey. But you know what? I'm actually happy the way it turned out. Like, I initially missed the authentic version release of Jokic, but if I did end up getting that Jokic jersey, I would have never got this Composo one. But hey, it all worked out, guys. But what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, thanks again for watching, guys. On to the next video. Oops.